What is up? All right, y'all, I had to adjust my audio because y'all said y'all couldn't hear me last time. So, <clears throat> me, 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 me. What is up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Lala, a.k.a. Lachelle, a.k.a. Shell, a.k.a. Michelle, my bell. <laughs> and I am back with the thorough tutorial that I promised y'all from my other three-minute review video. Like I said, y'all said y'all couldn't hear me in the last live, so I'm redoing it. That's how much I love y'all. Just remember that. All right, y'all, so let me get this cam camera angle two and gather. Ooh, no we, no, we will not, second life. <sighs> Looks like I'm going to have to reapply my ankle lock because right now it's what they like to call malfunctioning. Give me a second, y'all. So I got to get my second life together, child. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Child, I'm out here trying to get my whole life together. All right, let's take this off and put it back on so we can get back to the video and whatnot. So now we should start with the foot twitching. And yes, I know y'all can hear me. I'm just trying to let y'all know I'm still here. I just gotta fix the shenanigans. All right, so we should be good now. <clears throat> Back to our regularly scheduled program. It wouldn't be a YouTube live stream if something didn't go wrong. All right, y'all. Don't look at my link and balance. I've been shopping. <laughs> so, we're going to start out with our bare Cupra feet. I took off my toenails already. For those of y'all wondering how to do that, I'm going to show you real quick, just like I did in my last video. Chill. Let me open another inventory. I think it's called configurator. So all you do is open the Cupra hood. And then you just click off. So you got the toenails. You just click off and it takes your toenails straight off. Now, one thing with the Pure Rich Nail Excellence System, to use the Nail Excellence System, which is just the skin, the nail, and the toenail tip, you can have your feet in flat, medium, or high. It doesn't matter. But if you want to use the actual ornaments, like I'm going to show in this video, you want your feet on flat, flat or medium. So I'm, I have mine on medium. If you can't tell already, and that's because, like I said, I want to show y'all both the ornaments and the actual just toenail polish. So first, let's get to that nail enhancement system. So again, this, these are my bare Cooper feet, nothing extra here. So you go and find wherever you have the file open. And as you can see, there is the flat nail base so these this little part of the naming convention where it says flat medium or high that's just saying what do you have your cooper feet on that's it so make sure you align it with whatever you have your feet on again i have mine on medium so i'm going to apply the medium skin just right click and add
And so now I have my toenail skin on. Now I previously shaded the toenail skin, but I'm going to mess with it for the sake of this video just to show y'all. So you can change the skin to whatever you like. I think this is a little too light anyway. Uh, hold on y'all, I got a whole pizza. <laughs> Okay, y'all, sorry, I'm back. I had ordered a pizza, and it literally had to come while I was streaming, so there's that. All right. Uh-oh, did my thing fall? Okay. So, I'm wearing the skin, which is one of the base aspects of the toenails, or the nail excellence system, I should say, and I'm going to apply the hood. And then I'm going to show y'all how that works. So if you look at the actual HUD, it has multiple things that you can edit here. Again, this is just for the nail excellence system. So with this HUD, there's a show hide button. There's skin, nail, and tip. And then you have the small, medium, and long. Or short, medium, and long. Sorry, we're not even going to get into that first. Let's just get into the skin. So you want to open the hood, and as you can see, there are multiple skin presets you can use. And for my people who venture off further into the role play, maybe you're a different creature, you can use these as well. But if you don't like any of the presets, because you know there are so many different variations of melanation when it comes to skin, you can pick it from scratch using the good old-fashioned input RGB where it tells you how many red, greens, and blues are in a certain tone. Now, if you don't know the numbers, that's fine. You can just move this little thing here. As you can see, my skin got much lighter or you can make it much darker. It's completely up to you. However you alter the shade is 100% your business. Let me go back to that one. Maybe lighten it a little bit. Dang, now that's too light. Now that's too brown. <laughs> I promise I won't have y'all here for long. Okay, so that one's not that bad. That one's not that bad. I think it needs a little more red in it though. Oh, make it redder. Oh, now my toes are black. <laughs> See what I get y'all? I should have just left it as it was. Oh wait, I could do that brown, right? And just lighten it up. Sweet baby rays. Y'all, and this is literally the trouble I go through coloring my skin because it's such a unique color. It's very hard for me to find it. And that's how it is for me in RL. Because of my complexion, y'all, finding makeup, that usually means I'm gonna have to merge two colors so I'm gonna have to merge the shade that's a little bit darker than mine and with the one that's a little bit lighter than mine and that's how I get mine I should just left well enough alone <laughs> all right we're gonna go with this for now because I don't want y'all sitting here forever uh, I'm saying that as I continue to lighten it and play with it it's like a, I just it just needs like a little bit more red to me. That's what I think. But I don't. Okay, now let's see. Okay, we get in there, right? I feel like we just need to be a little bit lighter. Okay. Dang. y'all i should have and that's my problem i should have saved my original one in the presets anyway 
That's where I be messing up. Dang, that's two eggs. And y'all sitting here watching me. I'm so sorry, y'all. But now it's going to bother me till I fix it. My bad. Okay, we get in there. I feel like I'm pushing the envelope with the darkness, though. Okay, how do I make it? So I just need it a little bit lighter, but I needed to keep the tone. Okay, that one's not bad, y'all. I'm trying not to push it. Mm. All right, so what I recommend is at least even if you haven't found your favorite shade, once you find one that you are like, okay, cool, it's not far from this, go ahead and why did I do that? I was going to say save it. Oh, there you go. So click one of these arrows, boop, and now I saved it as my own personal preset. So that's enough with the skin. Let's move on to the actual toenail. So now we're going to go back to our inventory and you're going to apply the nail base. Remember, I have my feet on medium. So look for what you have your feet on. So you go and right click, add the nail base, and then you have tips. You can use flat or round. Flat just means square, which I'll show y'all here. Or you can use round. Oh, you know what, y'all? Let me make sure I have my comments enabled. I be forgetting to do that. Yep, I sure don't. All right. So now I have on my nail base and I have on my round tip. And this is what the toenails look like. Just the skin and the nails. So yay for that. I finally got my whole life together with this one. I don't know why I picked so. All right. So welcome back to everybody that's viewing. So this is what just the nail excellence system looks like. So without any ornaments and fancy hoopla and all that other stuff, this is what it looks like with just the skin, the base nail, and the toenail tip. That's cute. I definitely need it. Pardon me, y'all. That, that actually was really good. All right, real quick. Thumbnail. <laughs> Y'all know YouTube stuff. <laughs> so in this same HUD, remember when I said you could color the skin? So just like I just did the skin and I got it the color brown that I wanted it to be. Now I'm going to click the button right underneath that. That's the nail. That's just the base of the toenail. So you have presets that you can use. If you're looking for a more neutral color, you can use these. And even while you're making your own, which y'all can see I've already done, you can create your own presets so that it's just a matter of you clicking the color and going. So for example, my SL mom is a model. And so she has to have a lot of her stuff already put together before she hits the runway. This will be beneficial for something like that. If you're doing something with quick outfit changes and accessory changes, make sure you take advantage of the preset option. So now really quick, I'm going to show you just by clicking some of the presets, how you can color the actual toenail. So see, now I got these cute cor coral toenails, or if I want a more neutral look, I can go over here to some of the presets that are more commonly used for the skin. And now here's how you would color the tip. So say I just wanted a French manicure type look. Maybe I'll use one of these neutral presets and rock it like that. Or say I want something more festive. Let's do one for Christmas sake, right? We're going to do a red. And you can use the color wheel over here. And boom. So maybe I'm like, oh, actually, I really like that red, right? Because you have a red, you can have a burgundy. I really like that. What am I going to do? I'm going to click the arrow. Boom. Now it's one of my presets. If I ever want to go to this red again, I can. And as you can see, it saves automatically the last two shades that you had. So maybe I want a brighter red, right? And I really do like that. So bam, I'm going to hit that preset arrow. So now these are saved in my own personal presets. Yes, these are the system ones, but these top rows are your personal. And you can save them wherever you want. If I want to, I could come and save this same red over here. Boom. So save them where you want. Technically, you have up to 10 
personal preference presets for either your skin or your toenail polish. So I think I'm going to leave for Christmas sake. I'll show you how to color the tips. How about that? So if I want to really get festive, I'm going to click tips. So remember skin nail, which is this base nail, the one that's red now. And then you have the tip. Now I can color the tip separately. All right, so I'm gonna go and make maybe like a Christmas green and I'll add that to my presets for the sake of the video. So again, you pick your color, click an arrow and it'll save it. And say this is all full, but you have one color that you want more than another one, click the arrow and it'll just save over it. So this is like a cute little Christmas look if you wanna do something like that or Kwanzaa, cause you know Kwanzaa colors are black, red and green. And Christmas is red and green. So it's interchangeable. If you celebrate Christmas and Kwanzaa, boom, you can do both. So another thing I want to show y'all with the tip is you can change the length. You can go from short, which is what I have here, to medium. Boom. If you want your toenails a little bit longer, which I know women in real life that do their toenails like that, or... You can do long if you really want to be having some toenail claws. <laughs> now I'm going to go back to short because that's just my personal preference. So now that you see what you can do on the HUD, not just that. So you can change the length, you can change the colors, all that good stuff on this HUD. And then you even have the extra stuff on the side. Now if you click this. Make sure you have what you like actually saved because the last time I clicked that, it turned everything white. So we're going to click this magic cleanup button and see what it does. What did it do to my turn? Y'all, you see? <laughs> it's turning everything white. <laughs> when it says clean up, that's what it means. It's cleaning up and it's cleaning up with bleach. So luckily, remember I showed y'all my presets? No fret, my pet. Ain't that what Steve Urkel used to say to Laura? Look at that. Boom. I'm going to click. Oh, we went to my tips. That's what I get for not paying attention. So I'm going to go to my HUD. I'm going to click skin. Then I'm going to click my preset. Boom. Toenails back brown. Then I'm gonna go to the nail and I'm gonna find my red, click in my preset, boom, in a matter of seconds. And then I'm gonna go to tip and I'm gonna click the green preset I have and boom. So if you accidentally hit something on the HUD and it undoes all of your work, cause when I clicked this, I was like, oh, I wonder if it's gonna make my stuff sparkle and it wiped out everything, I was about to cry. <laughs> so that's that. Now, again, y'all, this is just the nail enhancement system. So this is just for you to modify the toe skin, the base nail, and the tip of the nail. Don't I don't know why I have this black spot on my toes. It's like every skin I've worn with Cooper so far has this black spot or this dark brown spot. I'm going to act like it's a birthmark unless one of y'all can tell me how to fix it. <laughs> So that's the nail excellence system. That's what that is. So the skin and the nail, the basic part. Now, there is also ornaments that you can use to decorate your nails. So just like y'all go get the bedazzled nails like at the nail salon for your fingers, you can now do that for your toes. Shout out to Pure Rich. So let me see. Let's try this one. This one is called Hexago. So what you do is you find whatever you purchase through Pure Rich and you right click and add it just like you do everything else in SL. Matter of fact, let me show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all from scratch. Uh, let's do Sillet. And make, make sure when you go to the store, you buy it to match your actual body. So like mine, it tell, this is the naming convention. You have the PR for pure rich, you have the design, and then you have the body type. 
So I'm going to do fill it. Right click it. Add it just like I did. And then you'll automatically get a pop up for the items. So now I'm going to go into my recent and there it is. I have fill it for flat and medium. Remember to do the use the nail excellent system. You can have your feet. This is for the Cooper body. You can have your feet on flat, medium, or high. But to use the nail jewels, your feet have to be on flat or medium. I don't know if that's by design, but for all of the ones I bought, the jewels only come for flat or medium. So since I have mine on medium, I'm going to right click, add, and the jewels will automatically pop up on your toes. Aren't those cute, y'all? Let me see if it let me turn my camera because SL ain't been nice today. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. So this is the Silit design. Now let me show y'all the hood because just like the other system, just like the Nail Excellent system, the designs also come with the hood. Now I'm going to right click and add it just like I did the other hood. So I'm waiting for that to res because sometimes SL don't want to cooperate and whatnot. Okay. <laughs> so just like that, you can color the ornaments the same way. And I say nail, I mean nail ornaments, not Christmas ornaments, but you can color them the same way that you did your skin and toenails with the nail excellent system. So let's play with the HUD a little bit. Now, say you're one of those people, which is something I do sometimes. I only want ornaments on one nail. I don't want a whole handful or toe full, foot full of nails. They have hide options on the HUD. Let me make sure I'm showing y'all on the right foot. See that, look. So if I want to, I can just have one toe decorated. Maybe you feel like having stuff on every toe is too much. I could just have one. So all I have to do is click these little eyeballs right in front of the toes and it will show or hide the ornaments. So then you come over here and just like the other HUD, you can um, close the HUD. You have the marketplace info. I think this gives you, I don't know which one this one does. I think this gives you the TP. It got websites, Facebook, all that. And then you got the cleanup button. But remember, we said last time, <laughs> we gonna work on our presets first. So under the preset colors, every HUD has a set of presets. Like the preset colors, there are three different logo, or not logos, I should say icons. These are for the different sets of the jewels that you're impacting. So instead of just having to do one color, you can separate it and have maybe like, I don't know, some type of pattern going on. Uh, let's click this first one. So this first one, just, just to see what it changes, let's use yellow so it's like, no, nah, that's not going to be obvious. Let's use purple. So that way if I click purple, it'll show us. All right. So this first set of jewels, it looks like it changes all of these lines that outline the design. So y'all see how that works? You can have your options as to how you want to color these. I don't think I'm going to do that. I want to give it a gold look. And you don't have to use the presets. Just like the other HUD, like I said, oh, I want yellow. Maybe I say I want a darker yellow. I just come right over here and pick it. And then once you find something that you like, just like the other HUD, you just click the arrow over the empty boxes. So you have, what, eight in this one. Boom, and now I have my own personal preset. I don't have to use pure riches presets. So let's click the other jewel. Let's make this pink, I don't know. I'll use a preset for that one. So I clicked it and the one I selected, as y'all can see, is highlighted in white. Let me see. Is there not much of a change? I guess not. Let me make it purple, see if that does anything. Yeah. Make is a very light color. So with this one, I picked a dark purple, but the shades are very light. If y'all can see that, it's serving me lilac. Let me play with something on the hood and see if that'll make it. Is that is this brightness? What is this? 
Oh, so there's the brightness function, y'all. See, I'm over here learning with y'all. If you click this light bulb, look at these nails right here. I mean, look at these jewels right here. They look kind of dark. Let me turn, I'm gonna have to turn the camera around to get closer. Now look at these ornaments, the dark purple ones. All right, I'm gonna click the light bulb. So it adjusts the brightness of the actual ornament. So if you click the light bulb, you see the purple looks more of a lilac color. If you click it again, it gives it more of a plum color. Let's see what this star does. It looks like the star is brightness too. Can we turn, make it brighter? Oh, this is a glow. Hold on, y'all. Let me change it to a nighttime setting real quick. Uh, let's do dark blue. So y'all see that? This is the, so by the star, you have a plus and a minus sign. So the plus sign makes it go brighter. The minus, the minus of course, lowers the glow. That's wow. So your ornaments glow, y'all. <laughs> Pure Rich is out here doing it. All right. So let me go back to something. There you go. Y'all can see it's back to being bright. And then you have your third jewel, which again, this is just the ornaments on your toenails. Boom. So these looks like, this one looks like it's all the main ones. Because this big one turned black. All of these outer ones turned black. All of these outer ones. So that's how you modify the different colors of the ornaments. You can turn on the brightness. You can turn on the glow, which is separate. So make sure y'all remember the actual brightness is separate than the glow. The glow glows like a light, <laughs> whereas the brightness just lightens up the color. So brightness, glow, brightness, glow. Now let's see what these buttons up top do, y'all. Now I'm just going to play with it. I didn't even play with this on my own. I'm really learning with y'all during the live. What did that do? Oh, did y'all see this one? Let me see something. What happens when I push that one? That's wild. So pay attention. This one is easier to recognize. Pay attention to this when I'm clicking this. It looks like an environment or something type of thing. Watch when I click this one. Look how dark it got. Y'all, I'm having a good time just in case y'all was wondering. <laughs> and then this one has a plus and a minus. That's crazy. Now I want the other ones black too. I gotta cut the brightness down. Oh, so now I understand it, y'all. Like we are literally learning at the same time at this point. This turns the glow on and off. That's why the light bulb doesn't have a plus or minus sign. The actual star with the plus and minus determines how bright the glow is gonna be. That's wild. Like, I literally am figuring out the hood with y'all. <laughs> Shout out to Pure Rich. I hope I didn't do too bad. <laughs> but I am really enjoying this product. So as y'all can see, here are this, here is this particular set of ornaments. They have other ones. And I'm going to show y'all real quick. So this is, again, the Silit, S-I-L-L-I-T. I put the LM to the store in the description below. So y'all can check that out. All right. So then there's Planta. I'm about to go do that one. So I'm going to go take off my Silit. Hopefully I'm not messing up the name. I'm going to take that one off. Let's see what the Planta looks like. And again, I'm wearing medium, so right click, add. Ooh, this one's cute. So let me make this more festive and Christmas friendly. So I'm going to open it up and wear the hood. And by Christmas friendly, I mean probably just change the pink to a red. So since I like this red 
for the jewels. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my presets as well. Let's cut the brightness off and see what that does. Let's go red. Okay, so that adjusts these. Remember, you gotta pay attention to what jewels you're modifying. I still like this red, so I'm gonna add it to my presets, but I didn't mean to make those red. All right, and I also like this green, so I'm gonna click that arrow. Remember, clicking the arrow above the area adds the color to your preset. So, okay. Ooh, is this as the brightness is on? I want my red to pop. There you go. So I turn my brightness on, I mean off, and the red pops a lot more. When you turn on the brightness, just like most objects in SL, as you can see, it lightens the color of things. So I'm gonna turn the bright the glow back off so it can be a deep red. And I'm thinking maybe make this goldish, make these outer white ornaments a gold. So let me click that. And this should change those. Let me see. So is there a brightness setting for all people? Mm. Oh, okay. So there are different ornaments in this one. So with the Sillet, you can only have, I think there were only three jewels you can modify, and this one there are four. So when I made it yellow, it didn't affect these, it affected these over here. So I'm gonna make them green with my preset. So now they're green. So now I'm gonna click the fourth option and I'm gonna make those a more golden color. And see, boom, it changed it. So each of them, I guess it depends on the design, has different a different number of jewels that you'll have to pick from under here. Cause like I said, with Sillet, it was um, only three, but with Planta, there are four. So make sure you're paying attention to these areas under the presets, cause it lets you know how many elements that you can change. So for those of you who just joined the chat real quick, I'm just decorating the ornaments down here is where you pick what part of the design that you want to alter. Like for this one, apparently it adjusts this. So I made those a green color. And then you click this one, it adjusts this part, which I made a red color and so on and so forth. So each element in the HUD, uh, um, what do I want to say, affects a different part of the design. And again, you can hide and show the design. So if I just wanted to have a design on my big toe only, I just would go to my HUD and click these eyeballs and it will hide or show. So if you just want to do something classy, maybe you're going to an office event or a wedding, you just don't want to have too much going on, you can just show, or maybe you don't want the big toe, maybe you just want the middle toe. Just click the eyes on the hood and it will hide or show the design. I apologize in advance for my neighbor's dog. Apparently it still doesn't recognize my voice and every time he takes him for a walk and I'm talking, the dog does this. My bad, y'all. Anyway, listen, even if you're an introvert, do us all a solid in the world and socialize your animals, please. Thank you. I have no problem with dogs, but I think people need to do better as owners. All right, sorry for my mini rant, y'all. I just wanna make this a different, well, no, that one's not bad. I'm gonna add that yellow to my presets. So this is the design I came up with for Planta, y'all. Now, I think y'all get the gist of how the system works. So I wanna do something, I won't say a little bit different cause this is what I did last time, but I'm gonna take y'all to the Pure Rich store so you can see some of the options you have as far as purchasing and whatnot. So give me a second to TP and I will be right back. All right, y'all, so here we are at the actual Pure Rich store. 
and I'm gonna walk y'all through here. Okay, turn around camera, cooperate. So this is the store. Again, I have the SL URL at the, in the description bar and I'll post it in the comments after the live is over. Who is messaging me? Okay, that's Greek stuff. I, I don't know why I hate this little message bubble because I want to make sure I'm not ignoring people. So this is the Pure Rich store. And I'm trying to let y'all get the whole experience. But SL is like, hey, guess what I don't want you to do today? Great. <laughs> Hold on. This usually helps. Nope, it ain't helping today. But we ain't got all day, so I'm going to have to give y'all like a personalized tour another time. <laughs> Yes, I'm out barefoot, y'all. So when you first come in, oh, let me put a um, regular environment on. That also might help. I don't know. Yep, it's making everything res faster. So I got to tone it down so that I can actually show y'all around. So when you come into the store, you got this cute little banner that has their landmark the redelivery, the group joiner, Facebook, Marketplace. If you're a blogger, hint, hint, any bloggers in the room or bloggers. If you are a blogger, I still recommend you signing the blogger app. What's the difference? Bloggers usually just do pictures and websites. Bloggers usually do pictures, hence it being called a vlogger with a V. It stands for video log, right? So real quick, now... We're going to cam over. So they're having a Christmas advent where you can get stuff here. I, since I have the Cooper body, I haven't really been participating because they don't have a lot yet for Cooper, but they do have more than most people. Let me, sorry y'all, I'm trying to make it. To where stuff reses faster for y'all. I have my own like little SL settings I be using. Okay, let's see if that helps. If I if I lower down the graphics a little bit. All right. So first you have the nail excellence system over here. And the nail excellence system works for. Matreya Lara, Legacy Feminine, Beliza, Freya, Isis, and Venus. Um, hold on, y'all. The rest got a res in. And, of course, it's a Nithium Cooper. Cooper on, is on, there's only body under it. Well, I guess Coops is another one. But I feel like if you have Cooper Coops, it's the same thing. Because the only thing they adjusted on the Cooper Coops are the boobs. Can you res and let me be great so I can show these people and don't have them on this live all day? Oh, wait, y'all. I just thought about it. I actually took a picture of this, I think. Did I? No, too late. Oh, there it is. <laughs> all right, y'all. So as you can see, this is the nail excellent system and as it shows you how far the toe skin goes on the big toe. It shows you the base nail. It shows you the round tip and it shows you that it's compatible with Matreya, Beliza, Slink, TMP, Legacy, Signature, and Anithium, aka Cupra. Again, your links are short, medium, and long. Your styles are flat and round, flat meaning square, and then it says suitable for all feet shapes because it is. So the nail excellence system, remember, can work for all foot shapes. The ornaments are what have to be flat or medium. Now, just like I did in my other live, since I only had one person, shout out to Candy Wynn. While this live is still open, there are two more slots. Put your in-world name and your body type in the comments, and I will send you a gift from Pure Rich. It's only open for two people, and it's first come, first serve. So again, y'all, this is the nail excellent system. 
I'm just for the sake of making everything res faster. I'm gonna just cam around versus walking with my avatar. So here are some of the nail designs that they have that you can use without the nail excellence system. Now, unfortunately for us Cooper folks, in order to use the nail ornaments and whatnot, we have to use the nail excellence system. The other bodies that have been around a lot longer don't have to. They can just buy the nails straight outright. Now, this is not a shot at Pure Rich. As soon as Cooper came out and people started buying it, Pure Rich adjusted. Like, I shot him a message on Facebook, and I was like, hey, are y'all about to start doing it for Cooper? And I would say in less than a month, they started making Cooper stuff, a.k.a. the nail excellent system. So they are dedicated to good customer service. They are not like the other vendors who are like, well, bump Cooper. I got all the main bodies. They are very friendly. They respond quickly. And as you can see, they put a lot of effort into their work. This isn't one of those where they make the picture look real nice and then the nails are just all right. Y'all saw for yourself that the quality goes into the display just as much as it does into the product. So you have the Lamira nails here, which again, these are not Cooper friendly. These are for the bodies that work because again, they came out before Cooper did, so cut them some slack. But they have the Matreya Lara, the Legacy Feminine, Belize, Freya, Isis, and Venus, Slink Dynamic, and Signature Alice. So if you want the Lamira nails and you have those bodies, come on get, and get them. And then you have Irony. Now, if you are a Cooper person, when you come to Pure Rich, you want to look for the little symbol for the nail excellence system because those are the ones we can use. I also do have Irony. So here is irony. Boom, boom, boom. As y'all can see, what a gorgeous design. I have irony, and it is just as pretty as it is on here. Again, this is applicable to all of the body types that you find under the Nail Excellence system, and you buy them right down here. And let me show y'all how affordable this is. So all of that quality that I just showed y'all, using the HUDs where you can change colors and lengths of the nails and all that other stuff, 299 linden. I can tell you right now, most of these other, other vendors would have been charging you like nine, at least 999 linden, at least. But they're not out here to break you. They deliver a product, it's affordable, it's easy to use, and it's high quality. So then notice that they have these goth nails Again, these are one size and they have different jewels, not suitable for us Cooper folks, because remember, we're looking for that NES logo. And then you have Manis, which is a longer toenail. Now, if you just come and buy the toenails, because say you're not a Cooper body person, these are only one length. So you can't adjust these like you can on the nail excellent system. So if y'all haven't picked up on it, I've been with Pure Rich from the jump and I'm recommending the nail excellent system. <laughs> So hold on, y'all. Let me see what that chat is looking like. All right. So let's go look at more nail excellent system type accessories. So the Hexago, this one is another one for the nail excellent system. Again, for us Cooper folks, foot stomp. Here's that one. And just so y'all know, so y'all know I'm not playing. Ooh, SL, please don't lag me to death. Let me be live and great, okay? All right, for the Hexago, I'm gonna right click, pay, same price, $2.99. So if y'all haven't made it down to Pure Rich, what I'm trying to say is find your way down here, get you some cute nails. You don't have to be a Cooper body person. Anybody for the most part can come get it. They also sell accessories. Not for us yet, but they working on it. But they have like toe rings and anklets, which I have. I just, you know, can only wear under my other body. But this is their store, very well put together. Come through, here you go. Now y'all can see the design. I thought this was so pretty. I don't know what it is about the, the charcoal gray on pink, but it just does something for me. So this is Pure Rich. Make sure y'all come down, check them out, show them some love. Ooh this so bad pure rich if y'all watching can y'all make this for cooper please this one right here y'all that's the one i want anywho let me tp back home so i can leave the live open just for a few more minutes to allow people to enter the giveaway mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. 
What color is Neil? Chrystal. I feel it's so laggy right now. Y'all, I don't know why SL refuses to let me be great today. If I don't crash. <laughs> All right, y'all. So courtesy of SL, there's a very strong chance I might crash. So I'm going to leave this open for a little bit. But I'm probably going to end the stream soon. Again, first come, first serve. The next two people to give me their in-world name. I need your legacy name so I can actually find you. I need your in-world name and your body type. And I will send you a gift from Pure Rich. Yeah, I'm definitely frozen and about to crash. So let me just end this stream. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you for your patience with me. I hope that you found this helpful. Please, please, please go check out Pure Rich. Like I said, they're a really good company. I believe that they're newer to SL. Show them some love. Let them know I sent you. No, I'm not getting a kickback. No, I'm not getting paid for this. I didn't get anything free. It's just something else cool I wanted to share with y'all. Because y'all know I love y'all and stuff. Anywho, don't be afraid to hit me up in world. Again, I love y'all for free. Peace.